Hi, I'm Jim Anderton, Director of Content here at Engineering.com. Is the helicopter obsolete? Spirit Aero Systems of Wichita, Kansas has announced that they've just completed the first fuselage for Bell Helicopters' Joint Multi-Role Technology Demonstrator Program. Now that program is intended to create a new generation of multi-purpose tilt rotor, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft to replace between two and 4,000 helicopters currently in the U.S. Defense Department inventory. Spirit's fuselage is for the Bell helicopter entry in the program, the V-280 Valor. Spirit completed the project in the firm's rapid prototyping facility in Wichita from design to completion in only 22 months. The unit will be shipped to Bell's Amarillo, Texas facility for final assembly. You know, tilt rotors aren't new. The Bell Boeing MV-22 Osprey was the first in series production and it endured a rocky start with multiple accidents and fatalities. Current technology, however, reduces weight through composites and adds advanced control of engines, rotors, and the complex tilting mechanism to improve in-flight stability. So why replace helicopters? In a word, speed. Rotary wing aircraft have inherent limits to their forward speed. A major limitation is built into the nature of rotating wings. In forward flight, the advancing rotor blade experiences a faster relative airspeed than the retreating rotor blade, creating a lift imbalance. Now, helicopters address this by twisting the individual rotor blades to change their angle of attack relative to the airstream, balancing lift. But there is a limit. Rotor blades are essentially aircraft wings and are subject to all the limitations of aircraft wings, including stall at high angles of attack. And that's just one limitation to speed in forward flight. Now, the advantage of the tilt rotor concept is that the rotor blades become propellers in forward flight, handing over the lift duties to the relatively short, high aspect ratio wings the outrigger engines are attached to. So it's like having the best of both worlds. Helicopter for low-speed vertical flight, and turboprop aircraft for high-speed, higher-altitude flight. Now, Bell isn't the only company working on this concept. Augusta Westland also has one, and as the technology improves, larger and larger tilt rotors can be expected. Bell is proposing a quad tilt rotor that would allow heavy lift transport for the military and potentially civilian use in the future as well. From a manufacturing standpoint, the military applications will prove the concept, but civilian use is a lot more challenging. If the economics work, we could be looking at intercity transportation that operates from the rooftops of downtown office buildings, completely eliminating the need for commuter airports. This could revolutionize aircraft manufacturing and potentially destroy the helicopter industry as we know it. If it works, the potential demand could easily be in the tens of thousands of airframes, possibly hundreds of thousands as global fleets re-equip. With the military project essentially funding the R&D effort, tilt rotor technology could evolve the same way jet airliners evolved in the 1950s. Boeing 707, for example, actually started as the USAF's KC-135 tanker. The result was a major boost to the fledgling jet airliner industry. Let's hope the JMRTD program does the same.